Hi everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, today obviously is Thursday and I have, I think, two weeks worth of empties to share with you. Uh, but I did want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you all. I appreciate all of you. I'm truly blessed to have all of you on my channel. Um, I hope you guys are spending time with your family or doing something that you enjoy, uh, getting ready to go cook myself, uh, and get together. And we're going to go this afternoon, um, to the family and have a big old get together. So much fun, right? So let's just jump in and talk about what I decided to warm today, um, for Thanksgiving. This is like my Thanksgiving mix, uh, in my open concept main area, I'm doing, um, wild for fall love the scent this was from the harvest collection which is actually on sale monday i think on the cyber monday sale from scentsy it's just um it's like an orange and pine tree scent it's fantastic i love it it's an excellent performer it's kind of what i was hoping the sweet orange and evergreen was going to was supposed to smell like, um, which I, I get no orange from that. That's the scent of the month this month, uh, but definitely wild for fall. I highly recommend you check that out. Um, I know I'm picking up more bars, fantastic performer. And then in my bedroom office area, this is my beloved new scent, Harry Potter Wizarding World, um, which I also have to mention on Monday cyber sale, um, licensed collections, I think are 20, per I think it's 20% off. I'm definitely stocking up on some more of this. It is a little bit masculine, but not too masculine. And it's got some berry. It's just a fantastic scent. And it's one of those scents that transforms as it warms. And you kind of get all the different layers of everything that's in it. I don't have all of the scent notes on those, but it is fantastic. And good performer, long lasting. And then last but not least, I decided to offset my main area um, within the entry and bathroom, kind of which sandwich it uh, with just for you. This is a mix and walnut raisin muffin. So both of these you can no longer get. Um, I might have to double check the bundles that are coming out on Monday, but I don't think they're in those bundles. So walnut raisin muffin is kind of like, reminds you if you were to sniff like a muffin that just can't, like a spiced raisin kind of muffin that, that you would make. But you definitely get like that raisin, which is almost like a, I don't, it's not really berry. I guess it's what a raisin would smell like warm. It's a really nice um, scent, and these together are working fantastic. Um, so, I think what works well is just for you is like a um, pine, like fir, I think it's like a fir balsam with like a black raspberry. And I think the, the raspberry with the walnut raisin muffin is working really well with that fur. I like this mix. So I think I'm definitely going to uh, mix that again, but that is my Thanksgiving vibes today. Totally loving it, creating scent memories there. All right, let's jump in uh, to see what else I finished up. So I finished up a whole tub of washer whiffs and fluffy fleece. So fluffy fleece is in the catalog. All of the laundry's in the catalog. This was a holiday brick scent last year. It's it's very um, powdery. It's it's little floral. I guess it's a lot floral. Um, it's like a comfy, cozy sweater cardigan wrapped around you on a cold winter day. It's fantastic. Love that scent. I have um, more on order actually of that. Look at this. I finished a whole brick of the, 
frosted petals. I tell you what, I thought I loved caramel chestnut and maraschino sugar cookie. I have to say, I do like them. But this frosted petals has kind of won me over. It is fantastic. It's floral. It's a bit laundry. It's not too powdery. I don't even find it maybe, maybe slightly. It's got some like sweet notes in it. It is gorgeous. Um, I had actually ordered two sets of bricks when, with the consultant early access and it was, it was actually cheaper, um, to purchase two full sets than, um, you know, to buy them later. Cause there was, they were discounted a little bit. I think we saved $2 per brick and it's kind of a gamble sometimes. Um, do you buy both sets because are you going to like all the scents? Am I going to make enough samples? But I'm telling you, I picked up more bricks of the maraschino sugar cookie and caramel chestnut. I did a party closeout. And I'm glad I have those, but I'm definitely picking up more of these bricks for sure. The Frosted Petals is amazing. It's a scent I can warm all year round, not just, I don't think it's holiday specific at all. It's so pretty. It is. And it's one of those scents, like I reach, I keep reaching for it to warm it um, in my bedroom. I love it. So, highly recommend if you have not tried the Frosted Petals. And I actually did a couple of mixes with this. So, I'm going to leave that right there for a second. Another one of my favorite bedroom mixes. And either of these are available currently. Um, vanilla Waves, which is like a salted caramel and vanilla. It was from the, it was in the spring and summer catalog. They, um, pull, it did not carry over to the fall and winter catalog. I do think it is in a bundle on Monday's um, Cyber Monday sale. Uh, so if you have not tried that, it's fantastic. It's an excellent mixer. I have it in actually both of my clubs. And then the Vitamin M from the All Is Well wax collection that came out, I think last spring. This is just like an herbal lavender like spa-like scent. It is super strong. It is fantastic. If you, I love like a scent that will punch you in the face. Um, I know like, if, so if you ever hear me talk about how I feel like a scent is too light, it may not be too light for you, but I just like a good scent that's gonna, I can walk in and just smell it. So um, these two together, fantastic. Um, I was looking for, a mix with lavender and vanilla, kind of like, um, there was a collection a couple years ago. It was like a garden collection. I want to say it's, uh, it's like a lavender. It was so pretty. I loved it. It just was so li too light for me. Um, so I didn't justify keeping that scent in my club, but I wanted to, this is not a dupe by any means, but I wanted something similar. I like the lavender with the vanilla kind of mix. And so then I mixed, um, I also tried like the Vanilla Waves with um, the two scents that were in the spring and summer catalog. I think it's Lavender Cotton and um, French Lavender. Neither one of those worked, but I did try it then with the Vitamin M. Fantastic. Now you can't, like I said, get either one of these. This will be in the bundle, not by itself though. If you ever have a chance to try these, they're fantastic on their own and they're fantastic mixed together. Love them. Finished a dish soap of the Autumn Road Trip. I have several of these, so you will continue to see my this and my empties. We do not have a dishwasher. Um, we just, we wash everything in the sink and um, I go through, I enjoy my dish soap. It, it smells good when we're doing dishes at like two to three times a day. Finished up a Cozy Cardigan Fragrance Mist. This is really good. Um, I enjoyed the Cozy Cardigan. My next one that I pulled out to work on was my Luna Body Care. Luna is my absolute favorite in body. But Cozy Cardigan is really nice if you like that scent. 
worked on one of my painted leaves. And this was probably from the original round. I bring back my bars um, because I did, did not date it and it's the old style. This is just like, it's one of my favorite scents and it is a scent memory for me. It reminds me of fall here in Indiana when the leaves are turning and they're all the different colors and it's raining because it rains during that time here. And it just smells like if you were driving through, um, I just picture a section of highway where you just are driving and there's trees on each side and they're just colorful and the wet leaves and it smells just like fall. It's, it's beautiful. Love the scent. So enjoyed warming that. All right. Um, I worked on a mix. This was from Melter's Mixers. Um, so Jennifer, Jennifer, Melissa Johnson Hate. Um, her channel's fantastic if you ever want to look at some mixes. And um, it's Clove and Cinnamon and Gimme Candy. And Clove and Cinnamon is a good, strong scent. It's a little too clove for me, but it is strong if you're looking for a strong scent on its own and you don't mind like those spicy, spice types of scents. Uh, but the Gimme Candy just happened to kind of round that out and made, and you could smell almost like a, it was almost like a bakery, like spiced bakery scent. It was really nice. I would warm it again. Both of these are fantastic. Gimme Candy is like a butterscotch. Um, both fantastic on their own. You can still get both of these. Clove and Cinnamon is actually a in the catalog, but it is available under the Sense of the Season collection. And then Gimme Candy was a scent of the month for September, I believe, but it, that is still currently available. I think it may be going away though soon. So you might want to pick some up if you want to try those. All right, uh, I had my vanilla bean buttercream brick in this bag. It is completely empty, empty now. And I did mix this with some things, but that was another brick I finished off this week, past couple weeks. All right, here's a mix I did. Swirling snowflakes uh, with frozen, or I'm sorry, frosted petals. And it was nice. Um, I do have to say that the frosted pe petals is a really strong scent. So it does kind of overpower when you mix. So although it was nice, um, I didn't really get the mintiness of the swirling snowflakes, which is kind of like a vanilla and mint mixed. I don't have all the scent notes, but that's what it reminds me of. This is currently available under the holiday three pack bar collection, or you can get it individually in your Scentsy Club. Um, it is nice. It's a strong mint scent. And, um, but I would maybe do every other warmer or you might need to do more cubes of the swirling snowflake to the frosted petals. Um, frosted pe petals again is very overpowering scent. So, um, but I did also mix it with the vanilla bean buttercream. That was, um, Jenny Williston. Shout out again to you. Um, she used sugar cookie, which I don't have. I'm not a huge sugar cookie fan. It's one of those scents that I'm kind of nose blind to. Uh, but the vanilla bean buttercream was really nice with it. Um, so I would do that again. So thank you, Jenny, for that recommendation and for helping me use my brick up. All right. Um, this mix was fantastic. Uh, so one of my, this is like one of my new top favorite scents. I love this scent. Um, this is in the holiday collection three pack. It's maple vanilla glaze. I love this scent. It's fantastic. I am currently, currently have a Scentsy Club order that I purchased 
just to pick up some bars and one of those it was this to restock my the scent and which is a way around having to purchase that three pack but in the three that three packs actually really good it's a maple vanilla glaze swirling snowflakes and then the cranberry garland and honestly i like all three scents so i probably should just stock up on like the three pack but um this is by far my favorite it is a powerhouse scent it's fantastic it's one of those scents too that once you turn like i turn my warmers off at night in my bedroom the next morning both times i've gotten gotten up and i can still smell it in the air without any warmers have been being on all night it is fantastic it is it, it's a it's like a maple with like a sugary vanilla glaze it's it's fantastic it's almost syrup like so um this is definitely club worthy for me if i could only have um one bar in my club this might be it it's fantastic love it but after that said so i love it on its own and so then i decided to try some mixers oh my god this mix is amazing Wit and Wisdom with the Maple Vanilla Glaze, both of those together. These scents you can get, so fantastic. This is um, Wit and Wisdom is the Ravenclaw Harry Potter scent. It's just kind of like suede leather, um, old leather books is pretty much what it smells like. It's such a unique scent. And I did not club it the first time around, although it was kind of, I was back and forth about if I wanted to club. I am definitely clubbing it this time around. It's just so unique and it's a good mixer. I've mixed it with um, Johnny Appleseed, which is fantastic with this. And now this Maple Vanilla Glaze, it's just gorgeous. It, it does something to the scent. I definitely am going to work on doing some more mixers I'll probably pick up like a six pack uh, on Monday, the 20% off license bars. That is on my list too. So highly recommend both of those bars. All right, we're gonna start trying to get through this a little faster, spending a lot of time. Um, so I finished up a laundry liquid in uh, Palm Beach Breeze and the Scent Soft. This was my favorite laundry. I think I'm switching over to clothesline. I have another laundry and some washer whiffs, and then I think I'm done with that collection. I would repurchase it, but right now I think I'm switching gears with what I want in my laundry. I got through an autumn road trip. Love this scent. This is one of my favorite fall scents. It is, um, it's painted leaves like little sister because it's a little perf it's a little perfumey but it's gorgeous it's like leaves as well but it has that like a little bit of that perfume kind of vibe or with it fantastic performer velvet moon um which i this is a second bar for me it's still a no-go it's just it's so pretty but it's super light and that's what the, my problem with it is it's just too light. I wish it was just a bit stronger, but it is a gorgeous scent. If you like light scents, Velvet Moon, I highly recommend for you. Cinnamon Pine Cones. This is the scent of the month for December. And oh my goodness. This is my, I think, my favorite favorite um scent of the month ever i think it's going to pass up inhale exhale it's fantastic it is christmas nostalgia it's christmas in a clamshell that's what it is it's sweet sugary cinnamon pine cones 
like my mom used to sit out at Christmas time and it is strong. It's a powerhouse. It's a strong performer. It's long lasting. It's fantastic in every room of my house. And I love it. I absolutely love this. I, I'm picking up, I still have bars, don't get me wrong, from my, um, my consultant kit. By the way, I'm still waiting on my replacement warmer from my set, my warmer of the month. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. So we'll see. Hopefully it's here. So I have the spot already set to put that out. I am so close to a Christmas warmer like video, but um, I do have a few more pieces I need to pick up that I'm thinking of putting together. Love this scent. Um, it, I highly, if you like cinnamon, I guess that's the thing. It's not like to me, like a spiced cinnamon. It's a sweet cinnamon, like red hot cinnamon and pine cones. If you walked into Michael's and they have like those cinnamon, the, like the pine cones and the cinnamon, 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 this is what it smells like. And you like that? Pick this up. Pick this up. December 1st, 10% off. Fantastic. I'm picking up definitely a six pack on December 1st, just because I will be warming that all month, maybe through February. All right. I worked on, um, I apologize. I should have kept my post-it um, of who recommended this. If you recommended it, please speak up because I like this mix a lot. One-to-one -one, um, in the same warmer. I'm trying to think. I think every mix that I've talked about so far has been one-to-one -one in the same warmer. Um, Apple S'mores and Harry Potter's Bravery and Determination. The sad thing is, is Apple S'mores is in my club. I just don't know if I want to club uh, Bravery and Determination because I can do Apple S'mores without it, but I do like it together. It is a good mix. It does something. It kind of takes the sweetness down of the Apple S'mores like a notch because Apple S'mores is really, really sweet. It has like a marshmallow. I think it's the marshmallow oil probably that's mixed in with the apple. It's just, it's good. It's not too sweet for me, but it's it's like a smoky sweet apple with marshmallows. Apple s'mores. Not um, available, but the Harry Potter is. This is more of a smoky, spicy, smoky type of scent. It's borderline. Um, so it's similar to Cozy Fireside. I think that's the scent. And then um, there was one from last year's scent of the season. I don't like either one of those. Um, the one from last year smells like straight up like beef jerky or like bacon. I don't know. Meat grilling. This is a toned down version and it doesn't quite go there, which is I can handle. So I do like this set. Um, it's just not one I would warm on its own. It, do, it does complement my apple s'mores. So I might have to stock up on a few more bars, but not necessarily club it. And that was the Harry Potter um, Gryffindor. Bravery, bravery and determination. All right, we're going to get through this. Um, I am rather winded today, and I think it's because I have so much to do. I finished up this um, cozy weekend. That is really glaring. It's a homeworks candle. My sister... I told her I wanted homeworks candles last year for Christmas because um, I wanted to try those. And she purchased me the three wick ones. Um, they're, they're okay. I just don't think they have a lot of scent throw in these. So I honestly, the three packs she's purchased me, I don't know if there's other scents that work better. Um, but based on the performance that I had on these candles, I would not repurchase the three wick. The four week, uh, the four wick, not four week, four wick has been hit or miss on scent. Some scents are fantastic and some are um, not as good, but I, you're going to find that I think with any. Um, went through a warm pumpkin drizzle. Uh, this is just kind of like a Thanksgiving dessert, which you would find at Thanksgiving. It's, it's a fantastic bakery scent. 
Uh, there's another autumn road trip. This one actually did really well. So Cozy Vanilla Pumpkin, everyone loves this. It almost makes me want to pick up another bar. It's very light for me. So I don't, I think if it was stronger, I would like it. Um, it's like pumpkin vanilla cinnamon and it has a little bit of musk to it. If you um, let it go like warm for a few days, that musk will come out. It's like the pumpkin and the vanilla wear, like wear off through the warming and then that musk is left at the end. It's a beautiful scent. I just don't think it's strong enough. Um, it's, it's a scent I'll have to definitely warm in the entryway or the bathroom. And I don't particularly like to just purchase for those areas. They're kind of like the, if I know it's not gonna be strong enough for my main area or uh, bedrooms area, then I will shift that to um, those smaller air zones. I may end up maybe putting a couple in my club just to try it again, because I do think it's pretty. It's just, like I said, extremely light. Um, but I did two cubes of Cozy Vanilla Pumpkin and one cube of Vanilla Waves in the same warmer. And the reason I did it that way is because Vanilla Waves is so, so much stronger than the Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin, but it was a really good mixer. Um, I think I had this in for maybe three days and I could still kind of smell it at the end of that third day in the bathroom. And the bathroom's a hard throw for me anyways. So that was really good. Just another walnut raisin muffin. Okay, this one I really enjoyed. So I received in my club a baked apple pie brick from Cincy Club. And baked apple pie, it's not it's not a powerhouse to me for it, but it does well like in my entry. And it didn't do too bad in my like main area, but it's kind of like it just smells like to me like the pie filling without the crust. So I actually warmed this um with one to one in the same warmer. Saint Knickerdoodle, which is part of the Sense of the Season collection on its own. Saint Knickerdoodle, Saint Knickerdoodle is not like a favorite. I know a lot of people love it. And I have to agree, a lot of people are saying it's the powdered sugar is more predominant in this scent. And that's what it is. I couldn't, I knew powdered sugar was in it, but when I think of powdered sugar, I think of like, I don't know, like sweet icing. But, um, it's, um, that's what it is. It's like the powderedness of that. And then the apples is like secondary and it's got a little bit of spice, but I tell you what, with baked apple pie, it really helped bring out like that apple. It was nice. I think I have one more bar. I'm not, I don't think I'll buy another one because it's not a favorite scent of mine. But um, with what I have, I'll, I think I'm going to do the same mix um, just to use to warm through it. And it, it will work really nice. But I do recommend that mix if you like this scent. I worked on the candy cane buttercream. I, I bought two kits. And I have a bar left from the kit. So I decided to, I'm going to let those cure. But um, I wanted to warm this because I kind of wanted to see, I heard everybody else's opinion on how light it was. And I wanted to see it for myself and see if I wanted to purchase more bars. Uh, because this was the one that I liked the best on cold. I, I love a good like candy cane peppermint scent. And it does not have the scent performance like everyone said. Um, so I'm highly disappointed in it. But. We'll see how the other bar does if it just needs that curing time to get stronger. And that was the candy cane buttercream. Rumor has it, and I don't know where I saw this, that um, they might restock um, those bars 
for next month or something like that. But I, like I said, I couldn't swear on it. I haven't seen it officially from Scentsy. I just saw it posted on Facebook somewhere. I, oh, this was really good. So this was from a vendor fair I went to and I picked up some wax. It's called um, Christmas Wreath and I forget the name of the company. I think it's, oh, it's Woven Company Candles com. Um, the other wax I had was like an Atlantic air kind of scent and it was kind of a dud. It wasn't very strong. This scent was fantastic. It's pretty much a dupe. I realized it for scent of, the, scent of the seasons, which is I think still available. Um, this is in the Disney holiday collection where it came out with the, like the Christmas tree warmer that I love. But, um, this is like fresh, like pine and vanilla, and it's fantastic. If I can get this apart. Fantastic performer. This is a dupe. Christmas wreath. It is. And it, this was actually an excellent, excellent performer. I, I warmed this in my bathroom and entryway, and I could smell it wafting. So then, um, after it was going for a while, I was like, oh yeah, that smells like, um, season of magic. It like hit me. And so I was like, okay, I need to warm that. And so I warmed this a different day, but they are, they are dupes. And I mean, if you're going to give this company a try, I, this was fantastic. I would repurchase it again. Um, love this scent as well. It's fantastic. All right, um, another one from Melter's Mixers was baked apple pie um, with cinnamon buttercream to make, um, I think she said apple butter frosting, which is no longer in the catalog. And it was nice together. I liked it. I would do that again. Both of uh, cinnamon, cinnamon buttercream and apple, baked apple pie are in the, in the catalog currently. All right, let's get through this. Um, so here was my dud of a 3D scent circle of the candy cane buttercream. Super disappointing in my car. But one that actually has done well is the swirling snowflakes. This was, I think, in the whiff box. It's the, um, as we talked about the bar earlier, like the mint and vanilla. Uh, this is still hanging in my car and it's still doing really well. I went through another bar of my clove and cinnamon. We talked about that. Cinnamon pine cone. Just for you, we've talked about silver bells. This scent is um, such a unique scent. It is fantastic. It's got like um, candy cane pear and caramel and it's good it like it's so unique it doesn't smell like fruit like pear it doesn't smell like straight up candy cane and it doesn't smell like straight up caramel it's, it's somehow how they mix this together it's fantastic i think this is a more of a small to medium zone scent but it did really well and my bedroom like would just enclosed, even though it's a larger area, it would not do well in an open, but I would repurchase that. Worked on my caramel chestnut brick. Um, have a few more to go on this one. This is currently available. It's just like a warm and chestnuts. Oh, I know what I mixed this with. I mixed this with love and happiness because they both have that chestnut scent this is fantastic i definitely want to do this again it really helped bring out that like chestnut smell in this fantastic i love love and happiness was a bring back my bar it's fantastic on its own uh, i mix it with my friend melinda said to i think it was cut like Cashmere and corduroy is really good with it. And then um, this caramel chestnut, I like it together. It's fantastic. I would recommend that. Just a few more to go. And 
we will be done. Best in Snow. Oh, that's really hard to see. This is a scent from last season. I think I got this in a whiff box. Not really a favorite of mine, but it was okay. Sunburst Bamboo. Oh, I think this is in one of the collections on Monday. It's just a nice, um, fresh, green scent. It's super strong. Cherry Almond Pie. Love this scent. It's... Um, it's got some cherry. It's definitely got that like cherry, but it's got a lot of like, it's the almond extract that's in this. It's not really extract for food, but the almond oil. Um, but it smells like pistachios. I love it. Um, I actually think I like this better than um, the maraschino sugar cookie. Love the cherry almond pie. And then um, last thing I... Got through was the Caramel Cinnamon Cupcake um, Oil. I think this is in the Harvest Collection and on Monday, this is on sale. It is, it's in the three pack Harvest. This is a fantastic, um, was a fantastic set. You have Apple Cinnamon Scone, which I can't remember if I finished that or not, but it was like sweet apples and cinnamon. The Caramel Cinnamon Cupcake, which is this kind of like sweet caramel and cinnamon cupcake, just as it sounds. And then the vanilla raspberry potion was amazing. Um, and I think there's a bundle with this. It's a fantastic set. I highly recommend if you did not pick that up, check that out on Monday. Great oil set. So that's all I have um, for the last couple of weeks, what I've worn through, what I've used. If you're still here, thank you so much for sticking it out with me. Um, I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you on my next video. Thanks, guys.